Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and this tag is from Annette's Makeup Corner, she's made this tag her own and I'm gonna leave her channel here up in the card if you have not checked her out you're missing out on a very good channel so go and follow her so this is a tag she made and this is 10 questions about makeup and the tag video is called My Makeup Journey. And I'm going to answer these questions. Yes, and I will put the questions down in the description box if you want to do them. And if you wonder about my hair today, I'm trying to try to live with my hair. I can't, I hate it right now, but I have to look like this now, so yeah. Uh, and I'm going to read on my phone because my memory is not that good. So, question number one. How old were you when you started using makeup? And the first time I tried makeup, I maybe was like eight or nine, you know, a little bit of mascara and a little lip gloss when I was going to the disco at my school and I wanted to look cool and nice and all the older kids could see me but the, then it was just yeah a little bit mascara and a lip gloss or maybe just lip gloss at that time but then when I was like 14 I think I started to use eyeliner and a lot of eyeliner and I used a lot of eyeliner until I was 19 I think so from 14 to 19 and then I didn't use makeup for a couple of years and makeup as I do right now I maybe was 24 23 or 24 so like this all full face on with everything 23 I think I'm not sure something like that so question number two have you gone through any makeup phases you're looking back on now and think what the fuck was i doing and yes <laughs> so when i started using makeup when i was like 14 i used a liquid black eyeliner and that was all i used i didn't use mascara i don't think i think i only used this black eyeliner and yes, as you know, I didn't fill in my brows and I am blonde, as you see, and my brow hairs, you almost can't see them if I don't fill my brows in. So I, it didn't look like I had any brows and I had my black eyeliner and it was a thick freaking line all around my eye. So I looked like a raccoon. I think it was so cool. I was one of the emo kids in school. It looked really awesome and that was all makeup. I would wear a black thick eyeliner around my eye. And I know my mother didn't like it. She said it to me and I didn't care because that was how I wanted to look. That was how some of my friends looked and we thought it was cool. So it was just a pitch black thick line around my eyes. No eyebrows, no eyelashes, because they are also blonde and it looked awful. Question number three. Have you ever been in a makeup booth where you did the same look for a very long period of time? And that was my black raccoon eyes. I used it from I was 13 to I was 19 almost the same I did change something up but that's the makeup route I have done for the longest time now I do like this sometimes I do a brown look I do a green look I do whatever I feel like but that big fat ass black eyeliner was my yes for like five years of my life question number four was what was your first high-end purchase and it was 
this one. The Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. This was like my baby. It was like the happiest day of my life when I bought this. I just discovered makeup at that time. This was the first expensive makeup item and also the first expensive eyeshadow palette. Before this I have tried like some from H&M, I bought some from eBay, like that. But this was my first expensive makeup and my first expensive eyeshadow palette. I loved this to death. It... I remember how happy I was the day I bought it. It was like the best day ever in my makeup life. Now I haven't used it for like two years I think maybe one and a half but I can't get rid of it because all I think is that day when I bought this I was in London and I was so happy so yeah it's this one number five what makeup item or items have you purchased the most and how long has it been in your rotation so if you don't talk about the black eyeliner the one I bought from for five years uh, because I don't have that anymore but I, I don't know want to know how many of those liquid black eyeliners I have bought it was a lot uh, the thing I still have in my rotation that I have bought I don't know how many maybe four or five of this it's the NYX control freak eyebrow gel this is the best eyebrow gel, clear eyebrow gel you can find. This is the best. Your brows will hold for anything. So this, I think this is number five. Four or five. I love this. And I'm going to keep using it and keep buying it for all eternity I think. If you want a clear brow gel this is the best and I love this super good but also this one it's also a eyebrow perfect eyebrow this is almost the same thing but it's got colors and fibers and I also love this and this is my second bottle so maybe this will take over from this one I don't know so one of these two and this is from Idun it's a Swedish brand it's perfect eyebrows fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel so yeah, some of these two are my holy grails. They have been in my rotation. This for a couple of years and this for this year. I bought my first one in March, maybe. So I love these two. Number six is what does your family and friends think of your makeup obsession? And maybe then I should start and say, yes, I maybe or a makeup addict and my family doesn't say as much because I don't know how much they know and I don't know if they have seen all my makeup and now the hair is crazy um, what do you have seen? I don't think they care as much if I'm going to be honest I don't know if they know how much makeup I have but I don't think they care and my boyfriend that I live with, he, yeah, he think I have much makeup, but he knows that I love makeup. And I know, he knows that I think it's fun. So he doesn't say anything. He got his interest with which he spent a lot of money in or at. And this is my interest. And nobody has said anything more like, you got a lot of makeup. But nothing negative or something like that. They have not cr criticized me. So yeah. I think they are okay with it. It's the feeling that I get at least. That they are okay with my makeup addiction. And obs obs obsession. But it's a hard word. Question number seven is. What or who inspires the way you do your makeup? And if. Like how I should do it. I don't have a special pers person, I look at YouTube a lot, but what, 
who has inspired me to do more colorful eye looks is definitely Paulina Beauty. Um, she ins inspired me to use more colors, but the way I use them, it's my own way. So I don't have an inspiration like that, but I got more inspiration of people that are like me and do fun things with makeup. So it's a lot of people I watch. I always think it's hard to say what inspires me because I don't really know and I don't really know with makeup. But I can leave some accounts, some accounts, some people in the description which I really like to watch and that I get some kind of inspiration from. So I will leave some links below. Question number eight. Describe your current makeup style in three words. And this is a hard one. I think boring, colorful, and confused. It's just like it's three words that doesn't go together. Boring because like with my face I always do the same thing and I think I always do the same thing with my eye makeup. I just switch the colors but I always do the same thing. So that's the boring. The colorful is that I now use more, more colors than I used to. Now it's I almost never do a normal eye look, like a brown eye look. I like to do it like this. I like to do colors or a pop of color or something. I like colorful lips, so that's the colorful. And the confused part is that I sometimes don't know what I'm doing. Like today, I don't know what this is. I don't, I have an idea. But it never turned out as I want to. And um, yeah, so this is the confused part. This purple, not, not purple, this pink and blue. That's the confusing part in my makeup style right now. It often looks like this, a little bit crazy. Question number nine is what pushed you to start your YouTube channel? And I don't really know. I watch a lot of YouTube before I start my own channel. But what really pushed me... I think it was that the friends I have, we don't talk about makeup, we don't talk about skincare, because that's not their interests. Sometimes we talk when they like want a recommendation for a foundation or an eyeshadow or something. But we, we don't share the same interest for makeup. So that like pushed me to start my YouTube channel because I wanted to talk about makeup, I wanted to talk about skincare, but I had nobody to do it with because I don't know anybody in the real life, in my real life, that thinks the same about makeup as I do and I think that that what's pushed me to start my YouTube channel because now I can talk to you and I can show you my new things and we can talk about things and yes that has been the thing that pushed me that I wanted to share my interest for makeup with somebody and I have no friends in my real life that likes makeup as much as I do. And the last question is, do you think you will still be on YouTube from three years from now? And I have no idea. Sometimes I think I'm too old for this. I know I'm not because there are so many people that's older than me and this is no age thing. Even though in Sweden, the Swedish community, a lot of the bigger YouTubers are younger than me. And a couple of years ago, I think all was younger than me, so... But now, people in my age start channels as well. And that's fun, but I don't think I will have a YouTube channel in three years. It depends on what's happened in three years. 
I don't know where I'm going to be in three years. I don't know if I'm going to have the same job in three years. I don't know if where I'm going to live in three years. I don't know anything about my life from three years from now. So I don't know. If I still think it's fun, I hope I'll be able to do this. But if I get sick and tired of it, I hope I'm not here anymore. Because then if I don't think it's fun anymore, I shouldn't do it. But from three years from now, if I still enjoy it, I hope I can be able to do it. Is that an answer? Yes, it is. So that was that video, my tag video. I really like doing tag videos. For like for two years ago, it was super popular to do this, but now nobody's doing it anymore. It feels like so. It was really fun that Annette made this tag, and uh, don't forget to check her channel out. If you want to do this tag yourself, I leave all the questions down in the descriptions. I leave some channels that I like. Some of them are in Swedish, but I can write Swedish then if you're not understand Swedish. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please press like. And if you're not subscribing, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!